This is what your favorite quest game says about you. And I'm making this video because I want you guys to know what I think about these games. Pavlov, you like shooters and you also like that TTT game mode, which is the easily the worst game mode to ever touch the game. I don't know why these people keep playing this game mode. I hate it so much. <laughs> Questcraft. You really wanted to play Minecraft on your quest? I mean, why didn't you just play normal Minecraft? Playing Minecraft on the quest is easily the worst thing. You get tired within 30 minutes. You probably get some tools and get tired for the rest of the day and won't touch the game ever again. Beat Saber. You like music so much, in fact, that you want it to be inside of the music. Now, you play this game, you probably have arms of steel. I will never touch it. Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Oh my goodness, bro. You have taste. This game is so, so supreme. You are the greatest person. I want you to know that. Super hot. You want it to feel like James Bond or like you're in the Matrix or something cool like that. That's slow-mo stuff, you know? You're a pretty cool person. I like you. You're not bad. Not bad at all. Next, we have VR chat. You're strange and you either have a ton of friends or you have zero friends. You're either normal or you're not. You see, there is no in between with this game. Rec Room. You are insanely young, probably younger than Gorilla Tag players. A lot of people don't really like you and because of that reason, a lot of people who are older will not touch this game. Playing all these games is cool, but not with the uncomfortable Quest 2 headset. That's why I teamed up with VR Cover because I found out that my viewers use their products like their VR lens cover, facial cover, and the facial interface with their really cool colors on it. They sent me the blue one and in my opinion that is the best color. They also sell microfiber cloths to clean your headset with and this is a one stop shop for all your Quest needs. Starting tomorrow until August 5th at midnight, you can go and buy whatever you want for 10% off with this code. There are a couple exceptions like the carrying case, USB cable, and PSVR covers, but you're not gonna buy those. Buy everything else with my code. Epic Roller Coasters. Now you are either a daredevil or you probably just set up one of your parents to try this game for the very first time and you are evil. No normal human is going to go out of their way to play this terrible game. You also love to get sick. Gorilla Tag. Now you guys are a little bit older than the Rec Room guys. A lot of people don't like you guys either and that's just because you're young but that's just something you have to deal with. Gorilla Tag is actually a difficult game. I mean moving with just your arms requires a lot of talent and skill that a lot of people don't possess. I commend you guys for that. Among Us VR. Now, why in the world would you play this game? Nobody really plays the mobile version. So why in the world would you pay $20 million? I don't even know how much it costs. Why would you pay any amount for this in VR? What are you doing? Also, I've never seen any game gameplay of this. So because of that, I assume this game is dead. The climb. You weirdly love to work out and climb things because you know if you do it in real life, you have a high chance of falling to your doom and never respawning ever again. This is a solid game. And honestly, I think it's a really solid game you could put parents into if they're not scared of heights. But me, I'm terrified of heights. So I'm not going to touch this game. Bladed Sorcery. My goodness, you are a very cool person because this is one of my favorite games of all time on the quest. It's, it's literally the best, better than than the rest better than a guest it's amazing population one it's a decent game you know you like playing battle royales you like casually playing a game or you might want to hop in this game with your friends honestly i don't know population one is a solid game i don't have anything bad to say about it into the radius now this is a hardcore game for hardcore people i don't know why you'd want to play this game willingly i do like the game but it is just i have it on the easiest difficulty because I, I can't go out there feeling normal the game is scary it's a horror game secretly but they don't want you to know bone lab you regret buying this game because of that go-kart level that is impossible to drive. Honestly, I thought they were going to give us a Boneworks version 2. They gave us a Boneworks version 1.5 that is two times shorter. The game was unique, but not unique enough. Battle Talent. Now, you wanted Blade and Sorcery, but you didn't have the money, so you try to find a cheaper version on this game. Now, unfortunately, the game costs money somewhere for no reason. I don't know why. That's kind of lame. Attack on Quest. You love Attack on Titan, and honestly, you're a chill person for being able to play this game without throwing up, swinging left and right, fighting giant naked men. Will I ever play this game again? Mm, probably not. Hand Physics Lab. Now, you are a VR Quest 2 nerd. Not in a bad way, but you like to play with the things, especially hand tracking because a lot of people don't use it. And really, only people who really are into VR and into their Quest really use hand tracking. Yeah. Fortunately, guys, those are really the only Quest games that anybody ever plays. Everything else on the store and everything like that, they either cost too much money or no, there aren't really enough players. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know.